I'm Leah Kelly, horticulture specialist with Mississippi State University Extension Service and welcome to Gardening Through the Seasons. Blackberries is one of the easiest home fruit to grow and because it doesn't hold its quality well when it's shipped over long distances, growing your own is the best way to enjoy this fruit at its peak of freshness and ripeness. Now also it is consistently rated one of the most nutritional home fruit or fruit that we can eat. One cup of blackberries is only 62 calories y'all. It has two grams of uh, protein and nearly eight grams of dietary fiber. Not even counting all those great little things called antioxidants. For ease of maintenance and scratch free picking, the upright thornless varieties of blackberries make excellent choices. They require little or no trellising, and particularly if you cut the young canes back to promote some lateral branching. Now let's look at some cultivars that have been released through the University of Arkansas breeding program. These are all upright, thornless, excellent for southern gardens, and readily available through garden centers and nurseries in the late fall through the early spring as either bare root or potted plants. That's the time also to plant your blackberries, late fall through early spring. The variety Navajo is consistently rated the highest of all the University of Arkansas releases, and it's also rated the sweetest. The berries are medium sized and have smaller seeds than some of the other thornless varieties. Ripening begins in early June in North Mississippi and extends for about five to six weeks. Arapaho is another really sweet medium sized berry with smaller seeds. These ripen really early beginning late May in North Mississippi and extending for four weeks. Natchez has sweet, very large fruit with very large seed and is one of the highest yielding of the University of Arkansas releases. It ripens in late May in North Mississippi and harvest extends for about four weeks. Washita is really sweet and has fruit that is sized somewhere between the medium and large of the other varieties that we've talked about. It ripens beginning in early June in North Mississippi and harvest extends for about five weeks. Now let's talk about some general recommendations for cultural and maintenance techniques on these blackberries. Now when choosing a site for your blackberries, it needs to be full sun and it needs to be in a place that has really well drained soil because these plants cannot stand wet feet or water standing around their roots for any length of time. So a slope, a gentle slope is a good thing. Now also, the pH should be of the soil about 6 to 6.5. That's pretty ideal. Now also, these plants, they love mulching because mulch retains the moisture and keeps down weeds. And because these are shallow rooted plants, that kind of protects the roots as well. Now when you plant these, because they're shallow rooted, you need to just barely cover the roots. Now blackberries are not heavy feeders, so really the only fertilizing you need to do is in the early spring and use just a slow release at just a general recommendation, and that will be fine for your blackberries. Now the other thing is, uh, when you choose a site, you can plant them in a hedgerow and only two to three feet apart if that's what you're gonna do. Or you can do what I've done here and intermingle your blackberries with your ornamental plantings. Just make sure that they get good air circulation and that the leaves can get a lot of good sunlight because that's really gonna make your fruit crop real good and heavy. Blackberries have perennial root stalks, but they have biennial canes. And what this means is that they will continue to send up sprouts from those perennial roots every year, but now they bear on two-year-old canes. That's the fruiting crop is a two-year-old cane. And after they have the fruit and the harvest is complete, you can cut these old canes out. And what that does is it makes room for the new canes that sprouted this spring, which will bear the fruit for next year. And to increase some lateral branching, you can cut these canes back now. What this will do is promote lateral branching which will help support that heavy fruit crop next year so the canes won't bend over. 
I hope you have a place in your home garden for these really great upright thornless blackberries. I think I'm fixing to have me a low calorie snack. No, better yet, I think I'm gonna go inside and make me a blackberry cobbler and forget the calories. I'm Leah Kelly and this has been Gardening Through the Seasons. <music>